Before we start our lesson for today, I would like to share with you a magical learning experience that you can enjoy right at home. Enroll now at Vibal's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details in the description of this video. Let us discover the joy of learning together! Hello kids! Look outside! Can you tell me what kind of weather we have today? For today's lesson, we will explore about the different kinds of weather. Are you ready to learn with me? Let's go! Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me in today's lesson? Come on! Look at these pictures. What can you say about them? These pictures show the different weather conditions that you can experience here in the Philippines. For today's lesson, we will explore the different types of weather. In this topic, we will learn about the following. What are the different types of weather? How does the weather affect our daily living activities? And what are the safety and precautionary measures in dealing with different types of weather? Let us first define the word weather. What is weather? Weather is the condition of the atmosphere at a certain place and time. To identify the weather at the moment, you have to look at the sky. The clouds, sunlight, and rain will help you identify the current weather condition. Now, let us go back to the pictures that I have shown you a while ago. The first picture shows a sunny day. The weather is sunny if the sun shines brightly in the sky and there are only a few clouds that can be seen. The second picture depicts a cloudy weather. You will see group of clouds in the sky. The next picture shows a rainy weather. The sun cannot be seen during rainy days. The last picture shows a stormy weather. A stormy weather has strong winds and heavy rain. The sun cannot be seen because the sky is covered by dark clouds. It is important for us to be updated about the weather, especially when there is a typhoon. We all have to be aware of the weather because it always changes. There are many ways to get information about the weather. You can watch the television, read the newspapers, or search on the internet. In the Philippines, who is the most reliable source of information about the weather? Do you know? It is the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, also known as PAGASA. It is a government agency that monitors the weather condition here in the Philippines. The PAGASA always gives updates about the weather condition in the Philippines. It also gives guidelines on what people should do before, during, and after a typhoon or storm. Now that you know the different types of weather, let us move to how the weather affects your daily life. Wearing the right kind of clothes during a certain weather can help you keep comfortable. For example, if the weather is sunny, it would be better to wear sando, shorts, and slippers to keep yourself cool. Do not forget to bring an umbrella or hat when going outside during a sunny day. This will protect you from the hot and harmful rays of the sun. How about during rainy and stormy days? What kind of clothes do you wear? Normally, children should stay indoors during rainy or stormy weather. But if you need to go outside, you should wear clothes that will keep you warm and dry. People wear jackets or raincoats during rainy days. To keep yourself warm, you can wear t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, sweaters, and thick pants during this kind of weather. 
People who need to go outside wear rubber boots to keep their feet dry, especially when there is a flood. People also use umbrellas to keep themselves dry when it rains. During the stormy weather, it is best for people, especially for children, to stay at home. What are the things that you can do in different kinds of weather? During sunny and cloudy days, you can go out and play street games such as piko, patentero, and tumbang preso. Some people also schedule their family outings to the beach during sunny days. Outdoor activities such as gardening, going on a picnic, running, jogging, biking, and meeting friends and relatives are best done during sunny and cloudy days. However, since we are following safety health protocols to avoid COVID-19, we must stay at home. It can be a perfect day to go outside, but still, there are many things that we can do and explore inside the safety of our home. How about the activities that you can do during rainy days? If the weather update states that people should refrain from going out of their homes on rainy days, then just stay indoors. There are still many indoor activities that you can do while in your homes. You can help your parents with the household chores, you can study, and you can play board games with your family members. Now, try to observe the weather for today. Hmm, what are the activities you can do? Great, that will be awesome. Let us now explore the safety and precautionary measures when experiencing different types of weather. Remember, the Philippines lies in an area where it receives plenty of sunlight and rain. It rains in our country throughout the year, although there are months when rain occurs more frequently. There are times when the sun's rays can be too harsh on our skin. You have to know what you can do to protect yourself from these rays. Wear sunblock or sunscreen when you go outdoors. Wear glasses to protect your eyes from the harsh rays of the sun. Wear a light-colored hat or use an umbrella to protect yourself from the sun's damaging light and heat. If you plan to do some outdoor activities, it is best to schedule them before 10 in the morning or after 4 in the afternoon. The hours between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. are when the sun's rays are the harshest. If there is a typhoon, classes are called off or suspended because a typhoon brings strong winds and or heavy rain. Even in the new normal, classes are still suspended because typhoons can cause power outages or internet connectivity problems. While typhoons can be dangerous, we can prepare ahead of time to ensure the safety of the family. Here are the things your family can do before a typhoon comes. Have a permanent storage for the flashlights and batteries. All the members of your family should know where these are stored. Prepare enough drinking water. Fill your water containers in case the water supply will be cut. Have an emergency or first aid kit that includes medicine, cotton balls, ointment, and gauze. Stock up on ready-to-eat food like canned goods and noodles and bottles of drinking water. When there is a typhoon, here are the things that you need to do. Listen to the radio, check the Pag-asa website, or watch the news for updates about the weather disturbance. It is very important to know whether your city or province will be affected by the typhoon. In case you need to evacuate, do so quickly. Remind your parents to bring only the necessary documents, clothes, and other items to the evacuation center. If there's no need for evacuation, stay indoors and wait until the typhoon passes through your area. After the typhoon, let your parents inspect your homes for broken parts. Remind your parents to have these broken parts repaired as soon as possible. Do not play in flood water. Flood water contains disease-causing organisms. If you come in contact with flood water, Wash the body part with clean water and soap immediately. That was a long lesson. 
Now that you learned about weather and weather disturbance like a typhoon, do you think you're ready when a typhoon comes to your area? That's great! Remember, always keep yourself updated about the weather conditions and weather disturbances. Talk with your family and friends about the things that you need to do before, during, and after a typhoon. This will help you keep yourselves safe in case a typhoon hits your area. Before we end our lesson for today, I am inviting you again to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now in Vibal's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details in the description of this video. I hope you learned a lot about today's lesson on weather. Make sure to apply these learnings to keep yourself and your loved ones safe. Join me again next time on our Scientific Friday and together, let us discover things around us. Because science is everywhere! This has been Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vibal. Goodbye everyone!